back to Woodworking on the Cheap. Again, my name is Lane Saunders, and today on this segment, I'm gonna show you the basic tools that I started with um, when woodworking and what I think you should start with as well. Um, so let's start it off by starting right here at the top. This is a tri-square. I really recommend that you have a good tri-square um, as you will be making a lot of precise measurements. Um, this one has a scribe in the bottom of it. Um, and if you get one with a scribe, I recommend that you do not lose that because it is a very important thing to have to make a very, very precise line. The next thing I think you should get is a normal tape measure. This is a Stanley Power Lock. Um, I've had this for many years and it still works great. The lock is still strong um, and you get really, really accurate measurements from it. So that's the Stanley Power Lock. I also recommend that you get a hammer of some sort. Um, you will be using them frequently. Um, the other thing I think you should have is a drill. This is a Black & Decker 12 volt drill. It is one of their cheapest drills. This is one of their cheapest drills, around $30 or $40, uh, but it works great still. Um, along with the drill, I believe that you should get um, a good set of driver bits, uh, as well as some DeWalt drill bits. You will be using them quite a bit, and it's good to have a sharp set. I know that this is sharp because I, I bought them and I use them quite a bit, uh, but they stay sharp as well. The next thing I think you should get is a set of Stanley screwdrivers, or not necessarily Stanley, but a good set of screwdrivers, because you will be needing them as well in the projects. Now, if you wanted to do electrical with them, I would recommend you get something like a cobalt um, insulated screwdriver, uh, because if it's not insulated, you'll get zapped if you touch a hot wire, and that would not be good. The next thing I think you should get is a Stanley SB4 hand plane. This is around $20 and it works very nicely. And as long as you have a good sharp blade on it, um, you won't run into any problems with um, tear out or chip out. So, Stanley SB4 hand plane. The next thing I think you should get is a Black & Decker jigsaw. Um, doesn't have to be Black & Decker, but this is the cheapest one that I know of. Um, there may be cheaper, I know Tech Life has some cheap tools. Uh, but this is the Black & Decker one that I have. Works great, cuts with many, many types of wood, um, and it has a clean cut too. Um, but I mean, it is still very affordable. This is, again, you saw this in the first video, but this is one of my many pink carpenter's pencils. Keep around a lot of these so that you don't lose them. Um, the pink also helps with that. But also, I believe that you ought to have a good toolbox. So here is one that I like. This is a Stanley toolbox. It does have some tools in it right now. But if you have a toolbox where you can keep your stuff, a dedicated woodworking toolbox, you won't lose your tools. Or not all the time, you'll lose your tools at some point, but you won't have as good of a chance of losing them. Um, so get a good toolbox, get a set of tools that somewhat looks like this, um, and you'll be good to go. You could also get a circular saw, that would be helpful. Um, and if you have the budget, get a small job site table saw, as well as a shop vac. You will need a good shop vac. And I'll give you a link to the one that I have um, in the description box below. Well, thank you for staying to the end of the video. I really appreciate you watching the whole time. You know, it could be boring, uh, but I don't know. Um, please hit the subscription button and the notification bell so you can see the rest of my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.